giant Godo moment. Here's my new let's play of Castlevania How I Saw for the Game Boy Advance. And uh, I don't know what let's play number this is, but I'll put it on screen right now for you. Yeah, it's awesome. Let's get started. Here's my practice file. Got pretty far. Beat the game. And the reason why this is a let's play is because I can't, I won't do 100% completion, like um, of all areas shown, as f as areas shown, is 84.9%, so yeah, that's why it's a let's play. Uh, walk the guide. Let's go normal, if it's a difficulty, I'm just gonna name myself Steven again. There we go. Nice. The year is 2035, Japan. Crowds of the spectators are gathering around in anticipation for the first so full sooner eclipse of the 21st century. My name is Soma Cruz and I am a high school exchange student studying abroad in Japan. I live near the Haku Hakuba Shrine, an ancient shrine with strong ties to Japanese mythology. My grandmother is my only daughter, only daughter of uh, the shrines, the, the daughter of the shrine's caretaker is both a classmate and my childhood friend. I started making my way to the shrine to make sure the solo eclipse of the moon. But for some reason, the, the stairway led to the shrine off for the usual something to keep trying to keep that from the destination. I finally managed to get through to the gate. My senses became did it move. But the picture box is holding Kai and dies together, with trying to rouse a single son. I'm not good for them in less than half. I don't know. That was a bad reading, but I won't. Interesting. Cool transition there. <laughs> I remember when does a movie make a transition like that, but it's pixelated and stuff. Oh man. Mm -mm. Looks like you come in too. Where am I? Whoa, what happened? So you decided to join us. Do you have a present up? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, look who the heck are you? Uh, it's Kisama. It's Jin. It's Jin. Jin. I skipped the introductions. I have a few questions. I need answers now. Go, go ahead. Why are you coming here? What well, me? I hit him on. Where are we? We're in Draco's castle. Ah, uh, Draco's castle. You told me where you are. No, no. Inside the solar eclipse. Inside the eclipse. That's insane. What do you think? We are a fool. Someone needs to listen to him. He's telling the truth. What are you talking about? Give me an explanation. Well, it's more like this. Had an enemy. Okay. Damn, protect the girl. Yeah, go back to where you came from. Your thirst for you is awesome. Well, what just happened? This thing. So it has awaken. What, what has? The spirit of the captured creature you killed has just entered your body. You have the power to absorb the abilities of the monsters you kill. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you, you have the power? You gain the power, you must go to the master's chamber. For what reason? Do you not wish to return to defend to the own world? Of course I want to go back. Go to the master chambers, then you will find then you will understand everything. But I can't just leave me like this. No, you don't need to worry about her. I'll pick put up a particular barrier. But death will most certainly find those who stay here too long. Then then I Yes, only you can save her from her painful death. And what do you do? do? I too have things they must do within the castle walls. Go step forth, both your life and hers are at stake. Okay, say so something, okay. So if you press up, um, sorry, you have this menu. We'll get to this menu in a little bit, I guess. Maybe in the next part, I don't know. And if you press select, there's a map. So that's pretty cool. Here's the castle corridor. Now for these enemies right here, they're zombies, and they give one experience point each. You want to you want to beat them because uh, you'll get experience and level up and get stronger, and then you also want to get their souls too. It's just the main two purposes of these enemies right here. There we go. You start with a really bad weapon, so but in a short amount of time you'll. You can get better items and stuff for your weapons, which is really nice, actually. So you're not stuck with this item for the whole game. Uh, if you attack candles, they'll always give you money, which is cool. If you want MP, magic points, which is the green bar at the top left corner of the screen, 
uh, that's magic points, MP, and then the red bar is your health points, uh, HP, and that's your red bar, um, up in the top left corner. And then, uh, I finally said candles and lights always give you, uh, money, except for if you're low on MP, they give you some MP back, which is pretty nice. And then move on to the next room. Just cause. So I've never done a Castlevania. I'll accept this real quick. I've never, I've never done a Castlevania game on the channel, so this is a big change of pace. This is a really good change of pace. Like, so yeah, a knife is at 15 attack, but if we equip the sword sword, it go from 15 to 18. So we want the sword sword, obviously. It's a better item. It has a little more range too, cause it's longer. Down here. Underground reservoir. Okay, cool. I'm gonna spare that tiny devil. There we go. Pendant, okay. I think that was defense. A luck, yeah, by from nine to ten, so yeah, we get one more luck point. Okay, that's we need all the help we can get around the game, so makes sense. Some killer fish in here, like that one right there. Just avoid dodge it. Maybe get the money, I guess. Nice. And you can you only really float at this point, which you can swim later on, I believe, which is really nice. I'm not gonna get the cask, that candle because it's too old. It's not worth it. Uh, I'll sink the bottom shoot. Well, money will do that too in this game, it'll sink to the bottom of the water. <laughs> Alright, there is some taste of meat. We can't actually swim down here yet, so I have to just go back, I guess. Backtrack. Dang it. Yeah, it's kind of boring just going all the way back. It's very boring. I have less than half my health left. I'm taking too many hits. Let me go back to the other part. Yeah. Now these moments give you a really good self for the beginning of the game, so that's very worth picking up. And noticing and taking note of that at least. Backdash or pressing L. Okay, yeah. If you press L, you can backdash like that. It should be nice. It should actually be helpful in the, in the upcoming boss fight here. Here's a safe point. You want to press up on it near the statue and then press yes. It'll help you at um, all your health points and magic points too, so that's pretty cool. And it's a save point, as I said before, so you'll save your progress. So you don't have to backtrack as much as you do anything, you can do as much over, which is really nice. Up here is a cloth, I believe, or a cave, actually. There is defense, let's equip that. Let's see what can do. Keep his defense, okay, cool. Uh, I'd rather have a defense than luck increase, so. Yeah, let's go with that. And over here's about the beginning, yes, let's go back over here. We got this. I'm getting beat up here. Duck when the axe is thrown at your face. Yeah. Dang it. Okay, yeah. I don't think we can go further up there yet, so I'm gonna set up for way to. But here's where the boss room is. It's a skeleton looking thing. Cracking skeletons. Cracking skulls is what it is, okay? Dang it. Died. 
dodges fires by spitting that. I think I didn't dodge that one. I should duck there. Ah, I just hesitant. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take the. I'm just gonna use that tasty meat. Because I don't wanna die in this fight. Fail. I always just give me trouble and it still gives me trouble to this day because it's just so I find it to be so hard but it's so easy for other people. Dang it. Shoot. There we go, really awesome. So worth doing the tasty meat. And this will help all your health and magic points, I believe. I know your health for sure, but maybe not your magic points, but we'll see. Pretty sure it does though, because it would make sense that it does.